Hello everyone, welcome to Bowser Training Lead Code Solution. So if you want the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to contact us at bowsertraining.org. Um, so we provide the top-notch mock interview services and we'll try best to mock your interview company's level of questions. So basically just like the same level of uh, difficulties of all those coding questions. All right, so today we're going to look at this problem. Uh, it's a lead code problem 538. It's called convert binary search tree to greater tree. So a uh, quick overview of the problem statement. So essentially giving you a binary search tree, each value is a simple integer, and then assuming there's no duplicate values. Those are all very good uh, clarification questions to ask your interviewers. What uh, the problem is, is so they want to, after doing this, so each node should be basically the value of itself and all the nodes, all the values that are greater than this value, uh, the sum. Ah, sorry, what I'm saying. So essentially it's like uh, all the elements, the sum of all the, ele uh, all the elements that are greater than this current value. So we should uh, basically add this, those values to itself and then this value becomes itself, and it becomes the new value. So for example, if you look at this, right? So the node five, uh, all the in this tree, all the values greater than this five is thirteen. So you add thirteen to it, to it. It's like eighteen. And for two, there are two values in this tree are greater than two. So it's five and thirteen. So that will be basically eighteen. Eighteen plus two is twenty. So this is uh, uh, basically the problem. So that's why in the beginning uh, I said, okay, is there going to be duplicate elements in this tree? So it's a very good question to ask. Normally there's none. So if it is, so it depends how you store the duplicate values you could either like always store them appended to the right or you can keep a counter or something in the in the node up to you oh uh, so here's the thought process um so the first process you can think about it is normally when you're dealing with a tree right you know they have this tree structure but if you're kind of like with no idea where it's going so you can always serialize this tree structure into like an array so for example if you're doing a normal binary uh, in order transversal so this 2, 5, 13 will become 2, 5, and 13. So it will be strictly in ascending order uh, if there's no duplicate. And then you can simply do a rolling sum, right? So you can basically start from the um, from the most right part, 13, and then you can basically keep this rolling sum, and then 18, and then 20. Uh, so that's that will be the first uh, naive solution. So as you can see, this, um, this implementation is very simple. I'm not really going into details, but, you know, doing a normal in-order in transversal, keep an array um, that keeps all the values, and then you're doing a rolling sum from the largest value to the smallest value. So this, of course, requires a uh, ON time complexity because you're doing in-order transversal, you iterate it through all the tree nodes, and then requires ON space complexity because you have a extra array. So now if you think about another way, so the, normally you should uh, take advantage of the tree structure, right? So how can you do it without any extra space and online? So if you, you know all the right subtree's value are larger than, than the current node, and all the left subtree values are smaller than the current node. So what happens if you are doing a still kind of like in order transversal, right? But instead of going to the left first, you're going to the right first. You always will find the largest value so it's kind of like when we're doing this array thing, right? So you always know you find the rightmost value. And then you keep a rolling sum, just like we do in the naive solution. And then just basically you can keep this sum and assigning the values while you are doing the tree transversal, but this time you're doing from right to right uh, to left. So essentially the code works that okay, you find the, this value 13, and then you keep the rolling sum. Now it's 13. So now it goes back. So 15, uh, 5. So basically you pass them 18, so now the rolling sum is 18, then you go go to the left part because all the you already at this moment because you always visit the right, you already visit all the all the right subtrees. And then that means you already visit all the nodes that value are greater than the current value. So that code is very simple in that in that sense. So keep a rolling sum. Uh, I always reset because normally I write a main function just to test locally. So you're doing always go to right first keep the accumulating sum, and then you're doing the left first. So the type of compl complexity is still ON because you're still traversing all the nodes, and then the space complexity will be, you know, 
you can say it's actually constant or log n, uh, not constant, log n because you are doing the uh, recursion. But this normally can be negligible. All right, so here's very much for watching.